is I, the man, the myth, the legend, the hitman. Welcome, guys, to Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga. I know you guys have been waiting for this. I know you guys have been anticipating for it because we're finally at the peak of legend when it comes to Lego games. I mean, come on. Can you name a better Lego game than what we have experienced thus far so far? I mean, we've come... I'd say the best for me I enjoyed was uh, the Complete Saga, which combined both LEGO Star Wars 1 and LEGO Star Wars 2, original and the prequels. That was a fantastic game, but now we have a complete film, complete game film essentially of all three trilogies, all nine films. And guess what? We get most of the characters that we want. Too bad no ca character customizer, but let's be honest, I think we, we can enjoy the game far more without the character customizer. For now. I mean, we're definitely going to want it soon. Come on, TT Games. You know what to do. So then. Anyways, I think you guys have been waiting long enough for this. What my plan is to do is basically go through story, do a little bit of exploration, do a little bit, a little bit of both, you know? Enjoy all the good stuff that the game has to offer because it's... It's Star Wars, okay? It's Lego Star Wars. The best kind of Lego that anyone's ever going to get at this point. Except I'm starting to like Lego City a lot more recently, ever since I built a Lego train. That was a pretty nice achievement. But regardless, though, I think I, when it comes to childhood, this has always been pretty much all of our childhoods. I think we've mo enjoyed the Lego Star Wars the most compared to all Lego out in the world. Because this was the times, alright? For all you old people out there, myself included, I know you enjoyed this. So then, if you come to like the channel, if you come to like the video, like, subscribe, follow me on Twitch, and let's do this. Let's start where it all began. Oh, if you noticed the, that the save file is because I tried it out beforehand just to see how it works, and well, I think you'll see how it works out. So then, what we're going to be starting with, we're not going to be starting with A New Hope, okay? I'm going to be starting where it technically truly all began okay the prequels is the first ever so i think we're gonna start with the prequels first how's that all right so let's do it all right oh he called it a tie whisper interesting so let's see what this satirical game has to offer us okay the typical logo well typical reading that you see Sometimes I don't understand narrow reading sometimes. <laughs> Turmoil has engulfed the Galactic Republic. The taxation of trade routes to outlying star systems is in dispute. Hoping to revolve the matter with a blockade of deadly battleships, the greedy Trade Federation has stopped all shipping to the small planet of Naboo. While the Congress of the Republic endlessly debates this alarming chain of events, the Supreme Chancellor has secretly dispatched two Jedi Knights the guardians of peace and justice in the galaxy to settle the conflict. Eh, I kind of wish I did it in in Yarl voice, Yorlin voice, the, the guy from Clone Wars. I, I wish I could do his voice. Who, by the way, is voicing uh, Qui Gon. Who, by the way, is Tom Kane. I mean, not rest in peace yet, but it, his voice is basically dead right now. So rest in peace, Tom Kane's voice. Oh, goody, Drapes. You just noticed that Obi-Wan. Come on, did you not see Darth Sidious with literally the Death Star plans? Uh, yeah, 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 turn left, turn the ship left and right. <laughs> oh, Darth Sidious literally gave away the plan straight up to the Jedi, and they couldn't even notice. Although I'm beginning to think Qui-Gon did notice, but <laughs> he just, uh, brushing it off. Oh, yes, these negotiations, negotiations will surely be short. <laughs> All right, so where we go? All right. All that, and let's go to it. Yes, we do. I do want to land in the gigantic ship. Oh my gosh, we actually get to land in it. Woo! Fantastic. Oh, just look how beautiful this is. 
I mean, <laughs> if you remember the complete saga, it was all just simply cutscenes, but now we get to explore it. Oh, fantastic. And TC14, hey, how's it going? Oh, yeah, TC14, that's right. Okay, which actually reminds me, how big is this ship? Oh, it actually isn't that big. And there are no kyber crystals to, uh, no, ky kyber bricks. Why do I call it crystals? Oh my gosh. No kyber bricks or those, uh, extra thingies uh, available on this place, which is okay. Yet it does say 0% on it, which kind of is questionable. Why would it be 0% if there's literally nothing to do? It should be immediately 100% when you think about it. No, that's just me thinking aloud. So anyways, let's test our force powers. Alright, so that's what B does. Just holding just holding B, like pressing it. Now holding B, grabbing objects, and throwing them. Perfect. Alright, take out the lightsaber. Ooh, very nice. Put it away, same way. And hold to... Uh, saber throw is fantastic. Oh, definitely a great implementation to the game, I would say. Oh, you got a little bit of sprint action going. Which actually reminds me, what are, are the upgrades that we can get from this? Because I do, my main goal is once I get Kyber Bricks, yeah, to get all the upgrades immediately. Because this will definitely be smooth sailing for the rest of the game once I get pretty much all of these. So, that's why I say exploration and story mode at the same time. Because I do want to get through most of these. At least make it better on myself, you know. It's called investing. You should definitely learn about it. It's definitely helpful when it comes to the long run, you know? You know what I mean? Exactly. So, in any case, maybe I'll just gather enough studs, use the force around a bit, destroy what's left of this area, maybe learn some combos, see how we do, how we fare against the Trade Federation and their droid army. Oh, we're definitely going to be fighting all the droids here. Oh, oh, oh. I can already imagine it. I can already imagine the combos we can perform, how fantastic, how unbeatable we will be. We truly will be invincible. Woo! In any case, I think we should start talking to TC14 to get the show on the road, shall we? Oh, are you now? Oh, yada yada, sure. Guide me to my death if you don't mind. Nah, I'm just joking. It'll be a while before we die. I still have a bad feeling about this guy. Don't center on your anxieties, Obi Wan. Keep your concentration here and now, where it belongs. But not at the expense of the moment. Be mindful of the living force, young Kyber. Did I destroy just destroy their uh, secret plans? Because I'm pretty sure they had something going there and I just missed what it was. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. Ah. But I think Obi-Wan was right. I mean, I literally just saw those battle droids go in that direction and close the door behind them, meaning they've got a plan coming. That's for certain. <laughs> they are planning something. And we're about to find that, find out what that is. Ah, who, who are we kidding? Of course we know what that is. Oh, I'm an idiot, and I just killed myself. Whoops. <laughs> Egypt. <laughs> I knew that was a bomb, but I didn't think it would immediately kill me. Up oh, and here we go into the waiting room. How do you think this trade viceroy will deal with the chancellor's demands? These Federation types are cowards. Negotiations will be short. When they finally begin, you mean? Is it in their nature? Now I can finally use this. Oh, no! Come on! I sense an unusual amount of fear for something as trivial as this trade dispute. <laughs> right. No oh, man, and this is the reference to the original game. I mean, it probably won't do the same thing as the original game, you know, making the chairs dance and all that, but this is fantastic. This is literally a reference to it, where basically you use the force on the chairs and it made the chairs move. Oh, but look at that. They did it. Oh, and you get stuff from it, too. Woo. Oh, and it gets collect all the studs. Darn it. We need to get out of here. Roger, roger! Force push! Oh, come on! I wanted to force push it. Fine. Okay, A or B. There you go, see? I know how it's done. Come on. Oh, yeah. Well, that I really made quick short of them. And also, I could block attacks, too. Woo! And I can counter. Woo! Booyah. 
All right, I'm unstoppable. Booyah. You thought you could do something against me? I don't think so. Oh, and I just realized that they're playing the cantina music. Hopefully I don't get copy strike for that. And that wouldn't be fair. Booyah. <laughs> Who else wants some of me? Anyone? <laughs> That's your worst mistake. Ha! I didn't even do anything and I blocked it. Booyah. Oh, snap. I'm killing it. Already 23,000 studs. <laughs> All right. <gasps> Dronecas! Ooh. They won't be expecting this. Oh, wrong thing. Yep. What? That's not even fair. I didn't see that coming. Expect the unexpected. Oh, shut up, Obi-Wan. Okay. Now they won't expect this. Eh, they kind of expected that. Ha! Take that. Boom. Wow, I took care of that Jordica like it was nothing. That's fantastic. Alright, now let's do this properly. Come on. There we go. Alright. And... Fire! Woo! Aw, oh, man. I only killed one. Ooh, snap. Oh, I'm going to enjoy these combos a lot more than I should. There we go. That's the one I wanted to do. I wanted to make him explode. Alright, I think we had enough fun on this uh, on this battleship, on the Trade Federation battleship, because we are getting out of here. <laughs> I mean, these negotiations were very short. I know, it's got a hole in the wall. Okay, I didn't even cut a hole. I just cut a straight line and it opened for me. <laughs> Fantastic. What the? What are they shooting at? Okay, why are they shooting at the roof? What, what? What's wrong with you guys? Come on, we're over here. Why are you shooting the roof? Oh, you bunch of idiots. And I can't even kill them. Oh, well. I got a free boost out anyway. Alright, let's continue the story. We're getting down to Naboo now, are we? In the Gungan area specifically, so now then the voice is literally right there. Of oh, both of them. <laughs> Imperial March on Acoustics. Hoorah, we're on Naboo. Well, at least a part of the Naboo area. Which reminds me, here's a free Kyber Brick. Come on, why wouldn't anyone want to take advantage of this? I can literally just lift this, place it, and then boom, just climb my way up to it. How's that? See? Look at that. Free Kyber Break right there. Alright, let's get to it. <laughs> we had our fun with that. Alright, nice. I think that's only one, only one out of 1,166. Ha! <laughs> what an odd number. That's funny. Order 60. Ah, this, they put 66 at the end. That is fantastic. I love it. And then a few Kyber Breaks out here as well, but we'll get them eventually. Eh, you can say that again. You know, for some reason, it feels like The Phantom Menace wasn't exactly the best movie for most people. That's funny how, how Obi-Wan was laughing at the fish tickling him. <laughs> like he was enjoying that for some reason. It was hilarious. <laughs> Alright, let's continue. Hey, okay. You're some big doo doo this time. <laughs> oh. As 
I said. Right. Brainless. Do you mind <laughs> why our friend here was banished? Jaja, clumsy oak. He fashioned the bosses who burst the paper in the bundle. Yeesh. Yes. Jaja, accident. <laughs> Ah, Jar Jar. The intel the ability to speak does not make you intelligent. And I just force push I mean force press that button. Go figure. <laughs> that was fantastic. You don't literally have to actually be there in order to press the button. Oh, I love this game. It's fantastic. Really gives the Jedi a lot more abilities with their force powers. I love it. I love it. Definitely taking advantage. Like, I'll say this, the Skywalker saga definitely takes a lot from other games, from like other Star Wars games, other in general single player games, and just, yeah, definitely, obviously, it's uh, taken from its original predecessor, Lego games, and essentially combined it with what the story games we have today, so this, this is definitely fantastic, I mean, the controls sometimes are a little wonky at, at times, and annoying, and there's so much to flip through, but otherwise, you get the hang of it, everyone will get to enjoy this. Seriously, this is literally meant for kids, so if a kid can handle it, I think adults like me can do as well. So, anyways, enough about my rant. Let's do this, alright? Let's continue the story. At least he was so kind to at least uh, make sure he's around and can finally use him. Woohoo! Yeah, he's got pretty good abilities too. Apparently, his tongue can be used as a grapple, which is uh, kind of weird. I won't lie, it is kind of weird. Oof. Oh, wait. That's a target? Oh, that's a target. Whoops. Okay, there's targets on all four sides. Ah, cool. Alright, well, regardless, though. Hold on. Wait. Okay, definitely the aiming down the sights is kind of annoying in this game sometimes. Sometimes. But regardless though, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Now hold on, there it was a kyber brick here. Somewhere at here it is. Nice. You think you're so smarty? <laughs> oh come on, it wasn't that hard to find. Just use your map and you'll be able to find it easily. Come on, I don't need to be sm a smart ass to know it. So apparently only heroes can operate this. Oh come on, how are Jedi's not considered heroes? Uh, talk about, uh, what is it? There's a word for it. You know, it just doesn't make sense in a sense, you know? Now, okay, let's do it. I'm ready for it. I'd be happy to explore more of this area, but eventually in free play mode. For now, let's enjoy the story. Well, there's your big fish! Woohoohoo! I'm actually glad that we actually get a level like this. This is fantastic. Ooh, dodge it! Ha ha ha! You didn't hit me. Take that. Missed me. Ooh, dodging! Woo! Miss me! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Man, sometimes hard to shoot with this thing, I won't lie. Dodging! Oh! Minikit! 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 Yeah! We got it! Ha ha ha! First Minikit already of the level! <laughs> he said it. Of course there's always a bigger fish. Go Star Wars for a reason. Okay, that didn't make any sense. This is the sea! Of course there's always gonna be a bigger fish! Alright, any more stuff that I can get? Wait a minute, there's a big fish- OH GOSH, THERE'S AN EVEN BIGGER FISH! Stay calm, we're not in trouble yet. You're nonsense! Why are you so thinking we're in trouble?
Will the power come back online? Come on! I can't see what's ahead of me. Oh my gosh. That's an even different monster than the last time. Oh yeah. Why would there be monsters out of Planet Core though? I expected like uh... I don't know. You... For Planet Core, I expected it to be more hot and not cold. I expect... Basically, life should not exist, essentially, is what I'm saying, you know? But apparently, life can exist at the planet's core. Go figure. Oh, why do I keep choosing the wrong one? That's so hilarious. In an uncanny way. There we go. Wait, did we get that mini kit? Yeah, got it. Yeah, we got Oh, did we get it? No, we got it. I see our friend is hungry again. What? That's it? That was such a short level. Yeah, don't insult the chair, Viceroy. Come on. It's a good chair. Oh my gosh, that was such a short level. I barely even got to, like, midway true Jedi, right? Yeah, yeah, barely midway. What the heck? I call BS on this. Okay, how else did I do it? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, okay, good. At least I got all the challenges, so that's a free Kyber Brick right there. And somehow, I didn't get all the mini kits. Like, what the heck? How many did I see? Three? Okay, so where were the rest of the five? Ah, screw it, it's alright. This was only the first level, so you know. I guess it's bound to happen. Oh, sure. What what can we upgrade to? Sprinty speed? Oh, absolutely. Sprinty... Sp sprint... Speedy sprint! Come on! Why can't I say that right? <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, which XO, definitely a lot more faster with the sprint, so that's good. I love it. Already loving it that we already got more control over ourselves. Which reminds me, there's a Kyber Brick right there. A free one, I think. I say I think because I don't know if I'll be able to actually reach it from this far. Yeah, I, I kind of thought that would happen. But let's see here. Oh, lift. Maybe if I can just like position it in a good place. Uh, well. Okay. Well, it's not disappearing, so that's good. Okay. I think we can put this one on top as well. Eh, no, guess not. And I'm dead. Okay. Hmm. Let's bring this a little closer to me. Okay, easy now. Easy now. No, 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 okay. Let's try that again. We gotta use our Jedi skill. Whew. Jedi skill, woo, for the win! Take that. Take that, water. You can't beat me now. Ha <laughs> I am a Jedi master. Woohoo! Bet you didn't see that coming. All right, all right. I think we're getting a little too sidetracked, but that's okay. A free Kyber Brick is always helpful. Which reminds me, let's upgrade ourselves a little bit more, eh? All right, let's see what we got. We got plenty of studs, which is fantastic. I mean, how many studs do we even have? We already have 100,000 studs? Oh my gosh, we flew by, flew by that so fast. Um, wait, it cost five for the... Ah, uh, that's not even... Ah, uh, okay, screw it. We'll, we'll, we'll do a fast build. We'll do that first, and then we'll get to counter cash when that happens, and then eventually we can get to the health bar. So, let's continue with the story. Let's find Queen Amidala and get her to safety. Let's get her off Naboo so that we can finally head to Tatooine and get to Anakin. Hopefully it works out so well for us. Yep, cool. Continue story, a royal rescue. All right, just follow the path. Follow the signs. Use the force, Obi-Wan. Use the force. 
Yeah, the force will guide you. <laughs> In this case, the for it, it kind of is a little bit of a force bar guiding us, isn't it? Huh? What was that sound? Huh? I'm even hearing shooting. What the heck? Hey! Yeah! Let's try to kill them all. Boom. Now I try to cut them to pieces. I believe so. That was pretty good. But who do we have to thank for our rescue? Hey, you said the line. Well, maybe it wasn't the line, but bomb bad. <laughs> I like how he actually does say Bombad. There's a book called Bombad Jedi, which is literally him, technically. Okay, here you go. Have a freebie. Booyah! Bet you didn't see that coming. Booyah! Man, I make quick work of these droids. They're literally nothing compared to me. This is fantastic. Oh, and the way Obi-Wan holds his lightsaber. <laughs> I love it. I'm definitely gonna have to do a lot more combos with this. Oh my gosh, I just blew them all away? I didn't think I'd be able to do it. Huh. I, I don't know my own strength. I'm fantastic. Woo! Alright. Where are the rest of the, you mechanical mayhem? Mechanical mechanized mayhem bunch of droids, mindless droids. Ah, oh, darn it. I had so many good M words, but now I screw them all. Okay. Which reminds me, uh, oh, come on, don't tell me that I have to do, like, waiting or, ah, darn. So yeah, no, note to self and word of advice, guys, do watch out for these people because they are super slow and you must stay by them at all times if you want to complete your mission faster. No joke. I literally had to go back all the way just to them just so they could move their butts. You know, the, the, this kind of sucks. These missions like these really do suck. Like, come on. Why can't you just make it to the area that you need to go and they'll catch up? Seriously, it doesn't really need to be that difficult. I don't know, that's just me. Me thinking aloud here, but you know, I'm always open to suggestions, if you know what I mean. Alright, I think that'll be it. Do you know what I mean? They don't even move until I get close back to them. Seriously, I know the way, but they just don't want to move their butts to the way. You know what I mean? Oh well. Now they want to move. See? Look at how sprinty they are right after I activate them. That's how dumb this kind of is. Eh, so there are definitely some flaws in the game. Like, you have a plan for the queen? Boom, boom, boom. Is that it? Oh, that is it. Huh! That was re I really made quick, quick work of them. Nice. Alright, we done here? Let's head to Tatooine so we can meet Attican now. Royal Highness's ship. You ready to go? Absolutely. To Coruscant! Jar Jar. Jar Jar, I know you're brainless, but sometimes you really need to think things through. <laughs> I mean, come on, who drinks that? At, who? Any ah. from where we should land? Mos Espa's spaceport seems like our best option for finding the parts we need. Mos Espa it is then, but land on the outskirts. We don't want to attract attention. 
<gasps> Is that a kyber brick size asteroid? Fantastic. That's what, like I was saying. Come on, Jar Jar. We know you're brainless, but come on. At least think it through before you start drinking something that's clearly not good for you. Uh, so fantastic. I gotta say, this game is definitely great. It's definitely an upgrade from its predecessor. Not only the complete saga, but also The Force Awakens. Definitely The Force Awakens was a quite a big upgrade. I mean, I know it was only one movie, but they definitely put in a lot of effort into The Force Awakens, which I really like that they did. It was quite fantastic. And frankly, what they implemented from Force Awakens, combining it with the complete saga, basically made this game. And it's fantastic, along with uh, other references to other games as well, other types of games. So, it's so definitely they put in a lot of effort to this, and I think there's still room for improvement, assuming you can still fit in enough gigabytes of data into it. At least I hope they will. And I'm talking about the character customizer. Not just that, but still, I mean, implement a little more into it, you know what I mean? Make it friendly. Anyways, we're landing on Tatooine, specifically Mos Espa, and we're finally going to be on our way to Anakin! Hopefully he's around to help. Wait. Her Highness commands that I go with you, man. She's curious about the planet. What's up, Arcus? I'm Padme, one of the Queen's handmaidens. This is not a good idea. But if the Queen wishes it... Uh-huh, sure, one of the Queen's handmaids. <laughs> Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's hilarious. Come on, we all know that Padme is Queen Abadala. It's not that difficult to see. <laughs> Anyways, now look at what we have here. Tatooine. There's so much sand. Why is there so much sand? Oh, cool. I can activate R2. R2. Oh, my gosh. And he's drawing in the sand. Ha! What a path. Eh, too bad that the sand disappears very quickly, so I can't really draw what I want to draw. But, if I want to draw something, there you go. It's meant to be an S, but it's the best I could do, so don't judge. So, yeah. Anyways, actually, let's look at this free cover brick. It actually looks pretty easy to get. Well, just need two power sources. Let's hope we can find some around here. I'm sure there's bound to be some power sources. Oh, that answers that question. Come on, activate. There we go. Let's carry it all the way over here. Ah, jeez. Sometimes the force is a little hard to control, but once you get the hang of it, it really does feel nice. Oh, here's another power cell. Nice. Dang, already we landed on this bait on this planet and we get a free kyber brick just like that. I love it. I mean, granted, we need to put a little hard work into it, but we did it. Power below the porch. Mission complete. Woo! Oh, look at that. Everybody's cheering for us. Thank you. Thank you. I'm here all day. We'll enjoy the time as it comes. Oorah. Oorah. Man, I swear there should be a lot more to say about this game, but honestly, I think it's all self-explanatory. Just look at the design. How fantastic it looks. That's all I can really say. There's really nothing else. Nothing else to it. Little criticisms here and there, but those are just that. They're very minor. It really doesn't matter what I think at this point. I've really gone through all the Lego games that I have, and this is this is by far one of the greatest. Absolutely, hands down. If not the greatest, one of the greatest. That's that's the best I could really say for this. I'm being kind, okay? Oh, look at that. You think I can get this kind of brick? Hmm. I have to be very careful. Oh, this is a switch. I think. Yep. Ha! Nice. Ah, oh, that's not even fair. Okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. Anyone available? Okay, Jar Jar. I'm gonna give you something. You better do your task correctly, otherwise I'm gonna... Leave you on Tatooine. There, I said it. I'm gonna leave you on Tatooine and you'll never come back. Got it? Good. Oh, come on. Uh, Jar Jar? Oh, there you are, Jar Jar. There we go. Nook and cranny. Where am I? There I am. Oh, nice. Okay. So, was there actually something else that I needed to do here? Okay, I guess not. And jump up. Whew. Very nice. Alright, another free copper brick. 
straight for us. Alright, so what's the plan? Oh yeah, we're gonna go and visit Anakin. Or Watto, at least. I know what you and need. these people are... You need a cute little propeller hat for that grubby looking astromech of yours. That will give the little guy some confidence, no fooling. I really don't think R2 needs a propeller hat. I think he's just fine as he is. I'm pretty sure he doesn't like hats. Oh wait, I'm sorry, that's Groot. <laughs> it's Groot that doesn't like hats. Oh hey, this could be used for R2. R2, come here buddy. R2. Don't you leave me dying, I'm gonna need you for... For a mission. Ooh, and this is the first time we get to use the astromech panel. Quite difficult, I won't lie. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Ah, who am I kidding? That wasn't so hard. See? Ooh, did we, uh... Did we do the wrong thing? I think we did the wrong thing. Alright, I need to use Obi-Wan for this. Or, actually... There we go. Alright, we done? Ooh, let's use the blaster. I want to see how this works. Ooh, the aiming down sights is actually pretty fun. Nice. Reminds me of Kata who killed me. How could anyone have killed me? Oh, you jerk. You were, you were there the whole time and you managed to kill me? Ooh, wow. For a woman, she can jump high. Oh, come on! Of course women can jump high. That's literally been their gimmick. <laughs> Just funny. Alright, are we done yet? Better be. Die, 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 die. Nice, I killed all the Greedos. What now? Oh, come on, they're still not dead yet? Quiet, on, stop blocking all my attacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I destroyed the boombox. Okay, so many of them are coming. All right, how about I just enter in and see what we're doing? Ah, oh, here we go. Now I see what we're dealing with. Ooh, <gasps> pass key. Interesting. I may need it for some time. Alright, we good? Hmm, where do I want to lift this? Okay. What was that supposed to do? Maybe I can turn off the alarm somehow? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Eesh. I gotta be careful on these camera angles. They're kind of weird, I won't lie. Alright. This thing has been annoying my head for a while now. Okay, that did not... Well, never mind. It did do something. Hmm. Could that pass key go for this pass word? Sorry, the other way around. <laughs> Interesting. So I'm gonna need a protocol droid for this later. Oh. I hope I remember this area. I do want to. Alright, let's get out of here before more Greedo show up. <laughs> okay. Let me guess. There we go. For ship parts. Thought so. Everyone is. You'll be wanting to pay Wado a visit. Got it, Wado. On my way. I knew all this and just <laughs> wanted to do it right, you know? Huh. Well, exactly you do. Oh, cool, you play music. Okay. Don't copyright strike me, okay? Good. Nice. Let's visit Watto's shop. Here we go. Hey, Watto. Good to see ya. Not really. <coughs> the reaction. Jar Jar.
Idiot. Honestly, I wanted to see them do the dice roll. Mm -hmm. way to the arena and enter young Anakin into the race. I, w I really wanted to see them do the dice roll and just see <laughs> Qui-Gon Jim totally screw with the <laughs> game. <laughs> he totally cheated and it's hilarious. I, 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 that was one of my favorite scenes in The Phantom Menace. I know, a small scene, but it is so good. <laughs> I mean, you can't say it's not funny. <laughs> I mean, seriously, the dice is literally all red except one word's blue. Of course, Qui Gon had to cheat in order to win. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Anyways. Oh, man. I've been looking forward to this, as for certain. And a couple chance for a Kyber break up there. Look at that. Well. I'm in no rush, so let's do it. Okay, so this is our lever options. Uh, basically what used to be what was green and red. So yeah, that was pretty hilarious. And now it's just regular, well, regular pieces that you just push. Which is, I guess, okay. I'm, I'll admit, I did like the original where it was just green and red. I am in... Mean, but there was really nothing wrong with it. It was pretty nice. It was at least bright so you knew what you were looking at, so... It was not bad, to say the least. Jump, 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 and... Oh, I should have done it on the first try. There you go, see? First try. Easy. <laughs> and... No one's going to find out that I stole that. Wink, wink, no shudge. Woohoo! Booyah! Oh, no. There we go. Alright. Alright, and again, where are you at? Nope, I'm going in the right direction. Ah, of course I am. See? There we go. Ah, that wasn't so difficult. Let's collect some studs by force pushing them. Man, I'm already at 100,000 studs just from completing one level. Alright. The Bunta Eve Classic. Is this pod racing? Is this going to be like the complete saga pod racing? Or is it going to be better? I certainly hope so. I mean, this game is already surprising me more times than I could say. <laughs> And I got nothing else to say about it. Hi, Jabba. And... Zero? Ah, this loser. This is fantastic! Oh, speed up, move. Okay, I gotta be careful. Oh. Well, also, I'm gonna just look for the mini kits just because. Let's see. Oh, let's go here. Oh, see? First. Oh! First mini kit, I already missed it. Ah. Oh. Well, gotta be careful. Oh, we got the speedy things. The hyper <laughs> tracks. Oh, here we go. Whoa! Whoa, Nelly! I really failed that miserably. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez! Oh, boy. This is a lot harder than I thought it would be. Oh, shoot, another mini kid and I missed it. Oh, no! Tuscan Raiders! Woo! Shoot! Ah, oh, there was another mini kit. Why? Ah, oh, how do I keep missing these mini kits? Darn it! I only have three laps to do it. Just you wait. I'm I, still gonna win. I really gotta be careful. Oh, ah, oh, mini kit. Yes, first one. Take him. Woo. All right, let's try this again. I missed it, didn't I? I missed it. Darn it. Ah. Oh. It's so hard to control something. Oh no! Come on, come on. There we go. On to the race. Let's finish what we started. Whoa! This is more like it. 
missed all the mini kits in this level. This sucks. <laughs> I don't think I'll be able to get all of them back. Yeah. Not like this. Huh? At least I got two of them so far, so not bad. Oh, come on. I didn't do that. All right. As long as I get the speed boost. Yeah. Oh, come on. Who really cares about that? Use a speed boost! Woohoo! Yeah, just keep using Ah! Oh, I didn't do it! Come on, come on. Where is it? X! Let's go! Come on! We gotta catch up to Shibulba! I'm not letting him beat me like this. Oh boy. Yeah! Use the force on a kid. Oh, shut up, Ben. Now's not the time. And I missed that mini kid, too. Ah. Speed boost. Come on. I don't like you anymore. Yeah, Saboba. No. Ah, ah. ah. Are you serious? You serious? Ah. Well, I gotta be careful. Come on. He cheated. He cheated me. Oh, uh, yeah. I'd like to try again. Thank you very much. Saboba cheated me. It's not fair. <laughs> Damn. Wait, I have to start the level all over again? Eh, what the heck. Why not? Enjoy the moment, You will not cheat your way this time, Saboba! You will not! Woo! Good job, Jar Jar. Of course he did. He's a Jedi. Oh, hi, Darth Maul. <laughs> Jar Jar, you didn't think that through, did you? <laughs> Don't worry, he'll be finished by the second movie. <laughs> Just in time. Alright, and that's the second mission complete. Woohoo! I love it. We I mean we first dealt with I mean a new mission, basically a, well, a new level in the underwater, which originally was a cutscene, a pretty small cutscene that is. And now we get to do pod racing all over again. Fantastic. I love it. This was fantastic already. I mean, this is only the Phantom Menace. I mean, you can if this is already the first movie with the first level and all everything that comes with it. I, I'm already astounded. I I have no complaints about this at all at this point. I've enjoyed this every step of the way so far, and that's really saying something. It's awesome. Hey, we get to unlock C3PO, so that means we can find missions and grab some new Kyber bricks along the way. Well then. Eh. Uh, I'm sure he 
thinks you're charming. <laughs> yeah, he kind of is. Also, what was that droid? Let's go see the droid. Who are you, mysterious droid? Well, it is Haunted Hovel, so I guess it's... Haunted. Yeah, the music just basically tells you everything you need to know. Which reminds me... Oh, hey, you dropped the key for us. A ghost key. And it's a gonk droid. Well, <laughs> a makeshift gonk droid. Anyways, what does this key lead to? I am unable to have a hole. But another solution will reveal itself, I'm sure. Oh, indeed. Let me just, uh, let me buy my way through then. Okay. So let's buy C-3PO since we finally unlocked him. Just where is he? Uh, he's in the uh, protocol droid? Uh, yeah, I, okay, so this is where one of my complaints is. Trying to, like, uh, get the characters. It, it kind of is annoying from time to time, but other than that, like I said, once you get the hang of it, everything goes well. Definitely swapping the characters is annoying. Hey, look at that! C-3PO's finally all rebuilt! Just a lot of exposed wiring. You know. But regardless though, he's rebuilt! Alright, let's crawl through, shall we? Ah! It's me in ghost form. Oh my gosh. Are you dead? Or are you dead dead? Alive dead or dead dead? You know, a ghost, but you're dead. <laughs> Okay, I think that answers that. Ghost Protocol. <laughs> that is literally a reference to Mission Impossible. The fourth movie, that is. Dang, already 18 Kyber Bricks? Fantastic. We're doing so well. Dang, he's fast when he has no legs. Go figure. Anyways, that reminds me. Let's look at our upgrades again. Um, let's see here. Ah, here we go. So what can we buy now? Oh, we can build faster again, so that's cool. And then we can do counter cash. And then extra health. Okay, we can already get these. Fantastic. I am buying both of them. Alright. Nicely done. And then eventually you will make it to attract studs. That's the one I want next. So anyways, I think this is... Yeah? I think this is it for now. Uh, we'll visit the next area eventually soon, but I think this is it for now. And let's just enjoy Tatooine and all this sand, because I'm pretty sure this is the last time we'll be on Tatooine for quite some time. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys really enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and follow me on Twitch. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great and blessed day, boys. Peace! And may the Force be with you. Always.